Hey everyone, this is David Wells, host of HubSpot's Inbound Now. And today I'm going to show you how to set up and install and use HubSpot's WordPress plugin. So first thing that you're going to want to do is log into your WordPress dashboard. And we're going to want to add the plugin to your WordPress install. And you go down to Add New Plugins. And then simply search for HubSpot. So here is the HubSpot WordPress plugin uh, by HubSpot and you just want to go ahead and click install now. I've already installed it so that button's not there for me. And then it'll take you to a page uh, and then just click activate plugin. So now that your plugin is installed, go ahead and refresh your dashboard and you'll see this menu on the left hand side, the HubSpot menu. Uh, and we're going to want to set up the plugin. So go ahead and click on settings. And this will take us to the HubSpot WordPress plugin settings page. So basically what you're going to want to do here is plug in your portal ID, your HubSpot application domain, um, your HubSpot hub feed, and feed burner feed. So I'm going to show you how to do each of these. So you can find your portal ID and application domain if you go ahead and log into your HubSpot dashboard. Uh, and then go ahead and click on settings and then click on external traffic logging. So this would be your portal ID where it says HS portal ID equals. So it's 24748 for me. And put it into my settings here in the portal ID. The application domain is also in that right here. So I take that and plug it here. Next step is grabbing your hub feed RSS um, link. And if you go into your main dashboard of your HubSpot portal, it'll be this little icon right here. Go ahead and right click that and save the link. Take that link and plug it in right here. And what that's gonna do is gonna give you your hub feed in, in your WordPress dashboard. So once you add that in and save the options, um, you should see a little hub feed um, box right here that'll tell you you know your latest new social media conversations to monitor uh, any new leads etc etc and you can drag and drop these boxes and put them wherever you would like so the final setup step would be adding in your feed burner feed and if you haven't created your feed burner um, RSS feed yet go over to feed burner and plug in your HubSpot RSS feed and do that and plug it in here and then just save changes and your HubSpot WordPress plugin is configured. And now that your HubSpot WordPress plugin is configured, you're able to actually log into your dashboard directly through WordPress and, and use HubSpot directly through WordPress. So see here you have all your tabs and you can use any tool within HubSpot through this HubSpot dashboard link right here. So that's all for the setup of the plugin. In the next video, I'm going to explain how exactly to use the plugin, especially the calls to action module, which makes this plugin extremely powerful and uh, really useful to use um, for your WordPress site.